Hi everybody and welcome back to Judy P's Crafty Journeys. Today I'm doing some jelly, uh, playing with my jelly plate. Um, and I didn't really feel like doing it by myself. So I thought I would uh, just play around with a few things. And I by no means am uh, a pro at this. I'm a rookie. <laughs> but uh, it's just fun to wing it sometimes. So I'm going to be playing with my acrylics. I've got uh, a couple of peacock feathers that I have. Um, actually a big vase of them. And uh, I love them a lot. So I'm not going to uh, use them all the time. Uh, I don't want to uh, waste them. I've had them for a very long time. My sister and brother-in-law have horse stables and they had some peacocks at one time. So that's how I acquired a whole vase full and they're so pretty. I just love them. So there's no way I'm going to use them all up for painting. But uh, I thought I'd give them a go today. Uh, this one kind of got bent. So this little itty bitty baby one. So I thought well I can use that one for sure. And uh, then I've got some sponges, and I've got um, some netting, uh, and I've got these cotton rounds that I used to take off my fingernail polish. They've got some like little like little divot like looking in them, and I thought, well, maybe that might there we go show up on them. But anyway, we'll see. I'm just going to mess around for a little bit, make a few pages, and I thought I'd uh, just, like I said, wing it and get on here. So let's uh, get started with what I'm going to work on. And I really like purple, so we're going to throw some purple down. And also, I like green as well. So I'm going to throw a little bit of this medium green down right here and then uh, let's see do I want to just do those two colors I don't want to throw something else in there let's just I guess we'll leave it at that so let's go ahead and roll that out mix it in with that green and hopefully I get enough on here I either get too much on it or not enough and I haven't done this in a really long time so um, it's kind of like I said, I'm winging it, so it will be what it's going to be, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So, I think what I'm going to do with that is I am going to do, I'm going to take some of this my sponges, and I'm just going to make some little marks with my sponges around, and kind of turn it over here and there, because it is the the sea sponge sea sponges I've actually sponge painted my walls in my dining room a long time ago and it was really cool looking but I think it kind of might have went out of style so I'm getting ready to actually paint over that soon that that looks really pretty so we'll just dab that all over and hopefully you can see it my lighting I, I don't know if I've got it to no my lighting is right so maybe it's just the color that's on the plate makes it look pretty bright so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll let that dry for a moment and uh, I'm gonna kind of try to layer it up a bit here we'll see dry it a little bit here yeah. here's one I had done earlier before I decided to get on camera I had uh, done some leaves from out in my yard. Uh, I mean, it looks all right, but what, it didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but uh, it was fun nonetheless. It's just that uh, <laughs> doing it on camera, I think you guys would have been like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Uh, so anyway, then I've got some... Uh, parchment paper and then I also have some uh, uh, ivory cardstock. I usually use white cardstock but I'm out of it so you work with what you got. Alright and then I think what I'm going to do is add, let's see here, I think I'm going to put in a bit of 
let's see, that green, the purple. I'm trying to think what's all. Maybe I'll do. Let's do a little bit of this. What is this color? Yellow okra. Hopefully, I won't be making any kind of mud looking stuff, but I'm going to put. I like to just place it wherever. I have no plan when I do this. I just do it because it's fun. And I get what I get. See, that's even cool. You can pull that up on your paper. I like that. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to mess with it some more. Let's see what else I get. I'm even going to go sideways. Let's see what I get. Alright. Alrighty. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and take my placement of this and I'm going to put that right up here. I'm going to spread out the feathers and get them stuck down on the plate here. And then I'm going to take the big one and I'm going to put it down here. Uh, we're at an angle. And we'll see how that works. That looks cool like that. If it came up looking like that on the paper, that'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Which we know it's not, but... <laughs> So, let's see. Let's see if I can roll over and all of that here. Get it to stay down flatter. I don't want to mess it up. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add some. Um, a little more purple. I'm just going to paint right over it and add a little more green. Like I said, I'm just playing and playing. I have no plans. Hopefully everybody's having a great day out there and uh, nice weather. We had really nice sunny weather here until about an hour ago and then we got a bunch of rain. And uh, it stormed and thundered. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, got to be a little more careful. Thundered and lightninged a bit. And uh, then that was it. Now it's just cloudy. All righty. I need to be careful with this now. I was going a little too rough and pulling it up. But anyway. All right. So. That is that. I am going to go ahead and pull this up off of the mat. And we are going to see what happens here. So I'm going to take a piece of my parchment paper. No, I'm not even going to use the parchment paper. I'm going to use my my off white and I here I did the whole thing and I don't have a whole 12 by 12 piece of paper either I don't think I have any big white cardstock I'll have to check it out we're gonna find out what this does anyway I'll take part of it it's better than nothing I want to try to be careful because I don't want to get anything on the back of this because I'm wanting to like maybe make some tags or something if it turns out good and I really don't want anything on the back of it so hopefully we'll get something off of here right that looks halfway decent I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm hoping if I'm getting a little bit on there that's all right I guess a little bit ain't gonna hurt anything right all right Oh, this looks really cool, I think. From what I can see, it looks cool. Let's see. Oh, you guys, this is really cool looking. 
I like this. This look this turned out really nice. <laughs> this is like so super cool. Look at that. That turned out fabulous. Let's see if I can get it down here, right? Isn't that cool? I don't know if I'd bring it up if it I don't want it to. Isn't that cool though? I think that turned out really nice. That is fantastic. I am very, very happy with that one. Very happy. <laughs> what fun. All right. Now I'm going to um, throw some more of, let me see. I, like, I really like that green. So I'm going to do some more of the green. And get that going over the jelly plate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like we still have some of that color left over, so. My son is home from work, and he's going to yell for the dog, so you might hear my son in the background here in a minute. <laughs> I couldn't tell him I was uh, filming anything just yet, but that's all right. No big deal. I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of yellow on here as well. And get that on there going. So give me that. See what this does. There we go. That looks nice. And just for giggles, let's see what I get here. Ah. Sorry about that. My son's home and he's playing with the dog. <laughs> ah, oh. Always likes to uh, mess with her when he gets home. <laughs> she gets all excited when everybody shows up. All right, let's take, I'm going to try a piece of parchment paper this time. And I'm going to see what I end up with end up with so let's just I'm gonna put it right smack dab in the middle let's see what I get there we go nice and smooth in all right let's pull it and see what we got Did we get any more of the thing left over from the feathers on there at all I can still see it on the, I can still see it on the jelly plate, but I don't think I really got anything of it on this. No, nope. it looks, looks like just plain green, so. Alright, well, I don't like that one, but that's alright. I'll figure out something to do with it, right? All right, and then I think I'm going to maybe throw some blue on here. I'm just going to run it down like that. And I'm going to put some red in it. I'm just going to put it all over the place. Does, doesn't matter. Just seeing what I can come up with. I'm trying to get rid of that green now, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Then I am going to I am going to use some bubble wrap. I'm going to make some bubbles. Put that down. Put 
There's a teeny tiny bubbles on that. I do not want that. I want my card stack. Yeah, so I probably shouldn't even be doing this on the whole plate because my I don't have any of the 12 by 12 paper. And uh we can get here. There we go. That's fun looking. Got some bubbles. See straighten it out. For cardstock it sure does go does go limp on you when you get the paint on there. It curls up on you so easy when it gets wet. That's cool looking isn't it? It's kind of shiny iridescent looking Put a little bit of shine to one of the paints so I think that turned out fantastic too so so far we got that one that turned out good and we've got that one that turned out good so I'm happy with that let's try something else and see what else we can get I'm going to try to clean off my uh jelly plate here a little bit get some of this green off of here because I'm really not feeling the green anymore I want to try something a little more bright make a few more pages anyways so, running low on baby wipes so be getting some of them soon it's like a big mess look at that what a mess what a mess oh what a mess. <laughs> Let's see if I can get some of that off of there with time to get it all wet. It's like a mess. That's what's so fun about jelly printing though, right? You get to get to be messy. You get to be messy, and that's what's one of the funnest parts to it. Alright, let's try another one, get this off. And I think next I'm going to use my, uh, I've got some, uh, this like fishnet stuff, so we'll use that next. Let me get this off of here as best as I can. My wipes are kind of small ones. I had some really big ones, and I used them all. Trying my best here. These are actually makeup remover ones. I figured, well, you gotta work with what you got, so it is what it is. It's kind of like one of my mottos it is what it is. <laughs> All right, that's much, much better. Much, much better. Yeah, I haven't had my jelly plate out in quite some time, and uh, I just love this thing. It's so much fun to play with. And uh, all right, so let's see what color do I want to use? I think I am going to down some white and then I'm going to roll that out first let me see if I get another paint of this here in my way so you don't want my, oh, I am so sorry I need to move my camera somewhere else right in my way today. I was trying to position it for my light and just kept getting in my way. Alright. I'm going to try to make a little bit smaller of a surface. I get some white. And I want some bright yellow.
pretty. Pretty and bright. And what else do I want to throw in there? I want one more color. Don't know what to do. Well, you know what? I think I just want to keep it bright and sunny. So I am going to take my netting and I'm just going to put it in there like that. You can see my fingerprints on the wand, <laughs> which I didn't want to do, but like I said, it is what it is, and you're going to get what you get. I'm just here to play, give you maybe some ideas of some things you can use, like the peacock feathers and this netting and the um, bubble wrap. So, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these. I'm going to do that later. Alright, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and we'll pull this one. Yeah, I should have went up a little bit further on it. It's muscle in it. It's muscle. Let's see what we got. Uh, I did pick up a little bit of that other color that was still down there, like a, a pinkish by accident, it looks like. But let me straighten it out here. You can see it a lot easier. So let me bring it up. Mm. It's all right. It's kind of, uh, you know, like just meh. <laughs> meh. I don't dislike it, but it's nothing to write home about, but uh, that's okay. Put down this parchment paper and pick up the rest of that paint that's on there. And uh, my jelly plate probably looks really blue, but it's sitting on top of my blue uh, work mat, so it's going to look kind of funky. So, all right, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and put some yellow down. And I'm going to put some blue down. And we'll roll that out. And I think that might make some really pretty peacock feathers as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down in the middle of it. A little on it. Get it to stay down again. Because I really like how that last one turned out. So I kind of like to add to it some more. Ah! My poor feather. There we go. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to 
bring a little bit of red into that. Just going to go all over because I don't want it in any one specific place. I'm just gonna roll it all over here. We'll call it abstract art, right? Abstract art. <laughs> you see those people they make like little blobs on pages and they become famous. So let's let's become famous together here, huh? <laughs> oh shoot. All right, and I would like to have another of my cardstock. Put that right there. I hope this turns out as pretty as the first one did with the peacock feather. It would be nice if it does. We will see here real soon. It looks good on the jelly plate. <laughs> and this time I left it on the plate, so it's a little more defined. Oh, oh, oh that is so cool. What do you guys see? You guys gotta wait a second. I gotta straighten out the paper. Mount the suspense there. See what it is. And I'm like very pleased with it. What do you see? What do you see? All right. Isn't that cool? It almost looks like a, a lopsided tree <laughs> instead of a peacock feather at all. That is cool. That's why I, I like that. That's really, really cool. You know, I'm going to play some more with this. I just don't really like that. <laughs> I wonder what I can get with it. Let me see here. I wonder. Let me take this other one I had been working on and just see if I can't get like a ghost print of it up off of it onto my parchment paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. See if we got anything from it. Oh, that looks cool. Yep, we did. We sure did. We got something here. Alright. That is really cool looking, too. Look at that. Isn't that neat? You know what? Oh, no, man. These peacock fe feathers I have might be in jeopardy. I'm getting some awful good looking pictures here. <laughs> I'm getting excited here. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, red and the green. I just really like that. It's, uh, let's see. We can do some other combination. All right. Let's try, let's try something else here. I'm going to go ahead and clean it off again a little bit here. And I'm going to try just something else here. I might might use those peacock feathers again because like I said I really like how this is working but I want to maybe use a different color so bear with me a second while I kind of get all this up or not all of it but as much as I can and I'm gonna have to get some better these makeup wipes are a little messier than the uh, baby wipes seem to work better than the makeup ones I don't know what difference there really is in both of them but I guess there's some sort of a difference because I just have an easier time getting the stuff up with the baby wipes it's like these are seem more soapier mm -hmm. for some reason than the uh, baby wipes but they were only a dollar so it's not like I paid an arm and a leg for them and they're doing what it's supposed to do so as long as it does that I guess even though it's not doing exactly as good as I'd like it to it's uh, doing its job so get that up there real quick 
I'm just really loving those feathers because that's just, I've gotten a little bit of different effect each time. Uh, the first one looks like a peacock feather and the other ones kind of look like, reminds me of just like trees or branches of trees more than anything. All right, uh, what other color have I not used? Let's see, ooh, I like this color. This is a cerulean, cerulean blue. Is that how you say it? Cerulean? Yeah. All right. I'm going to put quite a bit up here on those. And uh, I think I'll do a darker blue over here. And then, let's see, do I want to bring anything else in? Like all these blues, blue, 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 and blue. I'm just gonna do a bunch of blues. Ultramarine. I'm gonna put some of that in there. And then let's see what else do I want to do? What's this one here? This is vermilion red, and blue, and purple. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. I guess I'm going to put in a little bit of lemon yellow. There are all these different colored yellows and such. Some lemon yellow in there. And I'm going to do a touch of white. There we go. Let's roll all that out, right? It's just for fun. Like I said, I'm getting... I'm going to mix them all together. Now, the texture to this paint that I've got is a little bit different than my other acrylic paint. It's thicker. And sometimes I kind of like the thicker. All right, let's see here. I just am really liking this, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going, let's see, I'm going to add, I'll take some of these round things, oops, I don't want to mess up my paper, put one there, oh, oh, we know that's why it's not going to work, right? So we're not going to use those at all. All right. I am going to use these sponges again, so I'm going to do here. A little bit of extra different texture. We're just going to put a little everything in here. I'm going to use the end of this and make some kind of like little flowers. See, look at that. It looks like the little end of it makes it like little bursts of flowers. So we're going to add those. And I just might not add that peacock feather at all this time. I'm going to see what this looks like first. There we go. Another piece of paper here. Kind of reminds me, and I wonder if I take the end of this feather and I kind of go like this out the ends of them. If they kind of look like, you know, like the dandelions, the little dandelion fluffs. The ones you are supposed to make a wish and blow. So I'm going to make these little tails on them because that's what they remind me of. And we'll just see what that looks like when I add those. We'll use my uh, end of my peacock feather for a pen. 
Okay. There we go. I think I got them all. I think I got them all. All right. Let's see what happens here. I wish, oh gosh, I wish I had a. Uh, I wish I had a piece of 12 by 12. All right, that's all right. We're just we're doing it anyway. I'll just have to remember doing that for when I get a bigger piece of paper. In fact, I'm going to be going out later here in just a bit, and I just might have to get me some 12 by 12 papers. I'm getting a little all over the back of that one. I didn't want to do that. Okay. Let's do the reveal. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Look, guys. It does. It looks like those little fluff balls that you sit there and you blow. And all the dandelion fluff goes everywhere. So I am really happy with that one. Wow. I'm like... I'm like very very happy about this guys this is fantastic i might go ahead and roll over look at that like it looks real prominent now with the if you get up close so i'm gonna do that and uh let's see what i can do with uh oops what i got floating around here I guess I could use another piece of parchment. I thought I had a few of them out. I guess I didn't, so we'll just grab another one. And let's see if I can get a ghost print of it on there. We'll find out and see if I do or not. Oh. And then I think after this we're going to do one. I might do one more. Mm, yeah, you can see them barely. See? Well, that's alright. That's kind of cool. They're really faint, but uh, you could add to it. Something could be done with that. Alright. And I am going to go ahead and I am going to add some more blue. And I am going to, actually I'm going to add all three of those blues again because I really like how they all blended together. I thought they turned out really cool. Oops. <laughs> Using my grip there for a second. Paint back on there. Oh, I am so happy how this is turning out. Usually when I do this stuff, it's really iffy because like I said, I by no means am a pro at it but uh it's fun to play around all right and i'm gonna go ahead and add just a titch of the yellow here and there not very much um i do want to incorporate a little bit of the white and then I'm going to throw some black in there, too. Throw some black in there and see what it does, just for fun. We'll add just a little bit of it here and here and here and here. There and there and there and there. <laughs> I'm just going to put it all over the place. All right. And we'll get that all smoothed out. In fact, I really like how that looks. So before I do anything else, I like that textured look. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw this on top of it. And I'm going to pick me up some texture on my on my uh, print, hopefully. It'll look like it's a little bit texturized to a certain degree. And then I'll just start over with the colors. I just liked how that looked, how it rolled out. And feel like I want a picture of it. Yeah. There we go. Just kind of like some splatter art or something. But see how the texture is in it? Like right there. And when that dries, that'll look nice. So 
I'm pleased with that. So we'll let that dry. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to roll over this and see. Get that smoothed out and I'm going to add to it again. A little bit to wetten up the, the page. Oops, so I'll do that and that. This and this. And what else did they have in there? I had the yellow. And I had a little bit of white. Now I'm kind of just going willy-nilly over everything. Just because I want to. Just because I want to and just because I can. We'll put one big dot of black there. Here we go. And do that. Let's see, do they have anything else I wanted to use? I want to use my feathers, uh, feather again. First of all, I think I'm going to do some bubbles. Just do that real quick. Pull that up. And I'm going to put my feathers on there. Oop. Piece of string. And I'll put my one little faction. I'm just going to use this big one. Because my little one, I think, is worn out. And I'm going to roll that out. Get that impression on there. And that. Sorry about my dinging in the background. And then I'm going to do a little bit more white. Throw some more white in there. And we're going to go like this. And we're going to have those little white dots and spots. Little white dots and spots. It sounded funny, didn't it? I had this all spread out earlier. I'm going to spread it out some more. I don't want it to stick. Get that back out of there. Get out of there. Oh well. Good enough. Alrighty. Let's see what that does. Alright. So, another piece of my card stock I've got up here. I'll put it right here. And we'll put that down and see what we get. I think we're getting some pretty good prints today. Like I said, I mean, I, there's so many people that have all these techniques with this jelly plate printing, and they do so good, and I'm so envious, and I watch, and I think, oh, that looks so easy, but it's really not as easy as you think it is. So I'm kind of like just a slap them down kind of person and experiment and see what I get. Because that's what it's supposed to be, is fun. So, all right, here we go. And there we go. That one looks really cool, too. I really like, I really likes. So, I think my feathers have had it, so I'm going to put them to the side. And I'm going to take my... Where'd it go? I'm going to use that. Take this other piece of parchment paper I had. We put a little bit that we just got very little up off of last time and we'll press that down and see if we can't get something to come up on it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yes. Look at how cool that is. I am very, oh, wow. That pulled a lot up, too. I am so pleased with that. That is like so awesome. All right, guys. 
I'm gonna do some red. <laughs> now, now I'm addicted here. Uh, red and this blue. Oop. A little bit of white. I am going to take uh, I think I'm going to take this card and I'm just going to smear it around on my plate like this we're going to make some real abstract art aren't we huh there we go Oh, what else? Let's see, we can put some stuff in it. Do like I did the last time with this. I really liked how that looked. With the bottom of this uh, uh, netted sack thing that my sponges came in. I'm going to go ahead and put some of those in it. Alright, we do that. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm not going to use my peacock feather again, but I do want to use the end of it to write with, because it doesn't make a difference if I get that, you can throw that away, so, whoa, alright, so I'm going to do some of the little, again, to the edges of those because I really liked how that looked last time so I'm just gonna throw some like little stemmies on it and uh, see what that does I got one here there you did that one all right that one was that one it's a little one okay all right so now let's get Another piece of cardstock. Oh, I really like this. This is awesome. Put it down. And we'll see what comes up. I am so pleased. This is about as abstract as you can get. I think that'll be pretty cool though when it dries. I'll take it. I will take it. That works for me. Alright, and let's see here. Take another piece of parchment paper and pull it up. You know what though? I think I'm going to take this was a yellow piece I did earlier and it just didn't look like it had any color to it so I'm just going to put it back down on there and we'll put more color on it. We'll just see what it ends up looking like. This is that one I did like all that yellow and it just was too much too much yellow and not enough color of anything else so here we go just like a pretty abstract design a lot of colors mixed together it looks pretty so i think i'm gonna go ahead and stop but uh let me just clean this up just a bit real quick and then what I'd like to do is I'll show you again we'll run through which ones I ended up with and uh, that'll be that oh my gosh I got a mess here <laughs> uh, 
instead of making you wait for me to clean it up. And now he's even thinking if I should even do one more. I guess, like I said, once you get to doing this jelly printing and you start playing with it, it is so addicting to me and it's so relaxing because you just throw down, you know, it's just, it's just so much fun, you know. I, uh, don't remember it being this much fun painting when I was younger, but <laughs> I'm sure having a lot of, a lot of fun with it now. Alright, guys, I'm out of baby wipes, so I'm going to have to take this bad boy when I get off of here and, uh, take it to my slop sink in the laundry room and, uh, get it clean, clean, but, uh, for now, let's see what we came up with. Um, okay. I had this one that turned out really nice. So we've got this one that turned out really nice. I thought that one was really, really cool. I got this bubbly, shiny bubbly wrap one. I got this one. Oops. Ah. This one on the parchment paper. I got this one on the cardstock. I got these little dandelion ones. That was with using the bottom of that netting bag and the end of the uh, peacock feather. And then this is on the parchment paper with the peacock feather. I thought it turned out cool. It reminds me of a tree branch more than anything. And then we got this one, which I really love. That one looks to me like a tree leaning over. Love it, love it, love it. And what else do we got here? We had my little abstract one. My other abstract blob. <laughs> oh, shoot. And last but not least, my other abstract blob. <laughs> so, I've got those two abstracts, which I thought turned out they're all right. There are actually three of them. But these peacock ones are just, they're just stunning. I love them. So, anyway, all right, well, thanks for joining me, and it has been a blast, and I am going to go get all this cleaned up, because I've made a big, big mess, and uh, I will see you next time, and thanks for tuning in. If you liked my video, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave me any comments that you want. I do enjoy comments. I will get back with you and any questions that you may have. And don't forget that life is a journey and not a destination and keep enjoying the journey with me. Okay, guys. Thanks. See you later. Bye.